What a hip toss on the floor by Chris Michaels. Right there on uh, Patrick Miller. And Brandon Walker in the back is now finally uh, taking control of Kid Thriller. These titles held up from a couple of weeks ago in USWO late night when the referee just lost control. Pretty Ricky. He held the belts up after a controversial decision, Lee, and this one's for all the gold. That's right, the USWO Tag Team titles. Brandon Walker and uh, Kid Thriller in the ring as Walker's raking his eyes right across the top rope. And Chris Michaels is using that, that ring rope, that barrier, to choke the life out of Patrick Miller. The referee has got to get control of this match, Lee. This is not a Texas Tornado Rules match as far as I know. I don't think so. I mean, all I know is for the vacant USWO Tag Team Championship. Also joining me at this time, Cool Cat Taylor's here. What's going on, Cat? Lee, I'm so sorry I couldn't be down here for the rest of the night doing commentary. I had a big match, you know, I get super fly P. You saw me whip the tar out of it with that belt. I'm going to get revenge on him. I'm going to get revenge on Ronnie Brown. And then I'm going after the winner of the TV title match. Cool. Both suicide teams up going for the 10 counts here with the punches. The little girls in the crowd getting behind them. And now he takes, uh, Kid Thriller takes Brandon Walker. Patrick Miller takes Chris Michaels. And meeting of the minds there. They both been down. These Springfield fans can't count to 10, Tidwell. And I must say, my Cat Taylor boxers feel wonderful tonight. Well, Trent, <laughs> I, I miss what you said about me. I don't know. You said something was wonderful, but you got me laughing. All the Cat Taylor boxers, are oh, you wearing them? Oh, I hear you. Okay, it's too much noise going in the ring here with uh, Chris Michaels and Brandon Walker with the tar and the Suicide Kings. Glad you bought those Cat Taylor boxers. That's money in my pocket to help me, you know. Back elbow there by Patrick Miller taking out Brandon Walker. Chris Michaels to the outside. Only a two count there on uh, Brandon Walker. Double accent off the ring. Gabriel's Kid Thriller on Chris Michaels. It's hard as hell to call this match. That's why we have a pro like you here, Tidwell. Can you tell us the Tidwell mark? What about the Tidwell remark? See, I, oh, he's a Tidwell mark. Anyway, like I say, my ears are, my ears are all stopped up from all these some people making noise and everything, cheering for Chris Michaels and Brandon Walker. And uh, a, a Patrick Miller in a top card buckle. Chris Michaels is the headliner. He's been in ECW, WWF, WCW, ECW, M USWA, all those leagues. The man's been everywhere. This man's a champion, and they are going to regain these belts tonight, Tidwell. Now, what's up with this? The referee hadn't made anybody get out of the damn ring yet. I guess it's become a Texas tornado match right before our very eyes. Or should it be a Tennessee tornado match? You know, there was a tornado in Tennessee a couple years ago. So we can have them now. Oh, watch this. Double back elbow and Kid Thriller. Look at him go down. Look at Chris Michaels, the pose, the biceps. Only Cat Taylor has better biceps than Chris Michaels. Well, tell him you said that. It's Brandon Walker now for the cover. Only a two count. Hooks the leg. Once again, only a two count. Sorry about that, Cat. And a kick out there by Kid Thriller. Patrick Miller finally back up in the ring. And it looks like the referees finally regained some kind of damn control as Chris Michaels now going to the top rope as Brandon Walker exposing the ribs there of Kid Thriller to double axe handle right across the rib. And you notice when the referee takes control, who took control of this match but the veterans, Michaels and Walker? Of course, Michaels and Walker control this match. They are the veterans. They are the once and future champions. Just like King Arthur was the once and future king. The once and future champions right here. And Kid Thriller is the one to suffer for it. He's going to learn. He's paying his dues. Watch it. Chris Michaels hitting him. Oh, no. Up and over. What? Up and over. Kid Thriller kicked to the gut there to Chris Michaels. Taking Michaels down. Reversal. Kid Thriller into the corner. Comes back off. Michaels down. Oh, big dead breaker taking him down. He's suffering great severe injury right now. And the referee is doing his job. He's letting him do good double team and work here. Oh, package there by Thriller. One, two. Kick out by Walker. Walker back to the straight. And what a close line there. Taking Thriller down. And look at him playing it upside down. Are you saying that Kid Thrill's got a small package lead? What are you saying about this man? Walker is totally dominating this match. Chris Michael's getting in the ring now. Tim, are you ready to recover and take over? <laughs> TBD on the call. Chris Michaels with a cocky one-foot cover. You're not going to finish off a great young talent like Kid Thriller like that. Are you ready to talk now, Lee? Did you say you're going to finish off Kid Thriller? No, but I think I finished you off with that last comment, didn't I? Pretty Ricky finally turning around. You know, he's kind of like a campfire. Cheerful, but not too bright. Back to the front face lock. 
It's uh, Brandon Walker kick to the gut there, right to the ribs. It's Chris Michaels, the veteran tag team, I guess you'd say, the former USWO tag team champions in control of this match of the rookies. You could say the former USWO tag team champions, but I'd rather see, say, the future USWO tag team champions because they are surefire winners in this match. They've controlled it from the onset. Ever since I've been out here, I haven't seen Kid Thor or Patrick Miller get one offensive move in. That's because Chris Michaels and Brandon Walker are just so great. And Miller chasing Brandon Walker around the ring now. All the way up to the, oh, there they go. They're fighting on the outside. And look at that, the Ali style punches right to the side of the head. The remnants of Tracy Smothers. Takes him all the way down. Chris Michaels now rolling through the rubber, going to go for the cover. Doesn't hook the leg. And Patrick Miller pulls him off. So we know that Springfield is Tracy's mother's hometown. That's paying homage to the wild-eyed southern boy, Freddie Joe Floyd. Lee Tidwell was called away on military duty here, Cass, so I guess it's down to just you and me. That's fine with me, Trent. You know, as far as I'm concerned, three's a crowd, two's company. You've been doing okay out here substituting for me while I had so much business to take care of. It's been a busy night for Cat Taylor, but now I'm here to watch the main event and watch my friends Chris Michaels and Brandon Walker take the titles one more time. Oh, look who's back. It's Tidwell. Candy calls. He said you're grounded, Cat. Big bust to the gut there by Brandon Walker. Throw it, Kid Thriller, to the outside. Here comes hothead Patrick Miller, PBJ, not helping his partner out. And it's now and Chris Michaels in the corner. You're right, Lee. Miller's actually hurting his team coming into the ring like this. He can't get a tag and throw his yarmulke at midnight on TV. You learn something new every day. Pass over. You know, thrill has been in the ring way, way too long. He desperately needs to make a tag to his tag team partner here. And boy, he's trying here, Tidwell. And Brandon Walker's got the leg, and there's the tag. And I don't think the ref saw it. No, the ref's kicking him out. How could the ref see it? wasn't a legal tag. Thriller didn't get over there. He was having trouble make getting over there. He was too weak. Listen to all the fat girls in the audience. They saw the tag. Oh, they, those girls are live everything. Those fat out of shape fans. They just cheer for Kid Thriller. He's there. He, they live through his, I don't know. I'm, now I'm stumbling over my own darn words. What's wrong with me? Picks him up as Brandon Walker. Backbreaker there on uh, Kid Thriller. <laughs> make that two. I think your boxers are getting a little brief there, Cat. One, two, another two cover, Brandon Walker, Miller breaking it up, finally he made a wise move, but Thriller needs to make a tag, he's been in the ring for upwards of 10 minutes here, Lee. And Thriller now getting double teamed by Brandon Walker and Chris Michaels, he's still got that damn Yamako, ducks the clothesline, comes off, double clothesline there by Kid Thriller, and all three men down in the ring. This could be Kid Thriller's chance to make a big comeback, but I don't think it's going to happen. He's got to get through Brandon Walker and Chris Michaels to get to his corner, and those two guys will never let it happen. They're going to stop him dead in his tracks. Michaels comes up, tries to drop the elbow, and uh, Kid Thriller out of the way, rolls all the way up, comes up, crosses between the legs, there's the peg, the tag of Patrick Miller, Miller at House of Fire, big right hand taking him down, and a close line there, make that two. Miller now going over to Brandon Walker, whips him against the ropes, comes up, and a big drop kick right between the eyes of Brandon Walker, taking Chris Michaels, and Michaels cuts him off. Michael back him into the corner, whips him hard across, turn around, comes up, big boot to the face. Miller now up to the second rope, here he comes, an official drop kick to Chris Michaels down for the cover, hooks the leg, two, and only a two count as Walker breaks it up. Tidwell, this isn't fair, Miller's fresh, he's taking on two tired men, the referee ought to do something now, this is not fair. Throwing it to the outside is Brandon Walker. As Miller's on the outside. Chris Michael stays in the ring with uh, Kid Thriller chucking him over the bottom rope. Brandon Walker picks him up on the floor. Paul Driver on the concrete for the outside. It's Brakeville. Boy, this is more fair than I thought. This is getting better by the minute. Go, Brandon, go. And then he comes up with a head punch to him. And Ricky just pushes Chris Michaels in the ring. And Chris Michaels pushing pretty Ricky. What's going on? We have... Oh, and he just pushed Chris Michaels down to get in the ring. The referee is pretty mad. Chris Michaels taking the referee, Ricky Sawyer, backing him into the corner and hollering at him. Takes him now, blocks the hip toss. Why the world, the referee gives Chris Michaels a hip toss, and he's ready for it. Is this referee versus Michaels? Rolls him up his kid, thriller, one, two, three. Fast up, winners, new champions, new champions. Patrick Miller and Ken Thriller. Mark Stratus, we'll always be seven, the Bronx County Fair. It don't matter who we're in the ring with, it could be the K-Ball players, it could be the Wild Boys, it could be Chris.
Curtis Michaels and Brandon Walker, we will walk out there still the champs, because we are the Suicide Kings. Just like he said, week after week on USWTV, you watch the Suicide Kings, Patrick Miller, and Kid Thriller battle Chris Michaels and Brandon Walker all over the place. But what it came down to was on Friday night, June 28th, right there in the Robertson County Fairgrounds building, Penn Falls County, anywhere. You see, we got the straps now, the Suicide Kings, and we'll take on anybody, just like Patrick said, on August 27th at the fair show. We'll be there, and all you fans will just come on out there and watch us kick somebody's butt and keep these tags.